Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I am going to explain how to plot the simulation trajectory using QtGrace software. So after MB simulation, you know, we get the trajectory file that means .xtc file and then through using some command, we can extract the RMSD, RMSF, radius of gyration, solvent accessible surface area or age bond this kind of trajectory from the simulation data now we have to plot this data using the QtGrace software this software is also available for windows version and i have installed it in my laptop in windows version and now i am going to show you how to plot this trajectory because these trajectories are usually obtained in .xvg format and i want to generate a publication quality plot okay several editings are required to make it publishable or to make it suitable for publication okay so let's see so in google simply type qt grace download and from this link you can download it after downloading this software will be saved in a folder like it is present here qt grace then within this folder there is a bean folder within bean this is the application qtgress okay double click it to open now this is the qtgress workspace and i have kept the simulation trajectories like rmsd for protein backbone and RMSD for ligand. Okay, I am going to plot this backbone and ligand. You can simply drag and drop it into the Q2Grace workspace. Okay, so this is the RMSD trajectory for protein. Similarly, you can also drag and drop the ligand trajectory. Now automatically it will take different color. Okay, so if you put more than one trajectories, so automatically it will be colored. Okay, default color will be assigned. Now let's modify it. First of all, go to the edit and this select this option arrange graph. Sometimes you need to change the width of this plot. Okay, so top, bottom, left, and right. I'm going to change the top and bottom values. Apply and then accept. Okay, sometimes the trajectories are very wide. Okay. So, to make it suitable, you can change the width of this, uh, the top, bottom, left and right values. Then, go to the plot and axis properties. Now, you can see the trajectory is up to 500 nanoseconds. Okay. But, the x axis is up to 600 nanoseconds so you can change it so i am changing it to 501 or 510 apply so now it is present up to 500 if you want to start this trajectory instead of zero value so you can click this option now it's starting from minus 25.5. So again, I am changing it to 510. Okay. You can also change the y axis. So you have to select this option y axis. Now, if you want to change this gradation, I am changing it to up to 6 or 7. 
so now the plot will look like this so this modification uh, makes some place for putting the different uh, labels okay now for each axis you can change this space area like in case of x axis after 100 nanosecond this marks are there you can change it to 50 or other values you can see now 0 50 100 150 same here for y axis now if you want to change the font size of this marks or this label you can change it okay like for axis label and bar so i am changing the font for x axis from 100 to 150 then apply you can see here time nanosecond the font has been changed similarly for y axis okay now i want to change the width of this bars okay for y axis and change it to 3 so now the width of the bar has been changed similarly for x axis to uh, increase the resolution of this plot when you will take the screenshot or you will download this rmsd plot so if you want to increase the resolution you have to change the width of this bar or this peak marks okay next the tick level so again i am increasing the font size up to, up to 100 approximately 50 or 100 30. similarly for y axis now i want to change this tick mark because it is present in inside the box but i want to change it to outside place it outside of the box okay for x axis apply Okay, I also want to change the width of this line to 3, major, both major and minor tick marks, similarly for y axis. Like and okay now i want to change this trajectory so go to the plot previous option was axis property now it's set appearance okay so now you can see there are two trajectory first one black in color second one is red in color if you want to change the color of the trajectory so i am selecting here the black one and i am changing its color to green or blue then apply so trajectory color has been changed similarly for red i want to change it to green yes. okay now you can also change the width of this trajectory okay like then exit now go to the graph appearance if you want to change the heading okay, like title rmsd then if you want to change the font size so i am changing it to 200 
font size of the title apply and if you want to change the font size of subtitle i'm changing it to 150 okay like expect so now our uh, plot is ready we want to save it but for saving purpose first we have to change the file export setup okay so click here you can select the location where this plot will be saved i am selecting to desktop and within tutorial folder and giving it a name rmsd okay then i am going to change the resolution so i am selecting 150 then exit now the export setup is ready you can simply click this option export to file or png if you click here the plot will be saved in that resolution so it's now saving now you can check whether it has been saved or not so the rmsd plot has been saved in png format okay so i am opening it to check it so this is our rmsd plot okay so simply click file new if you don't want to save it then abandon unsaved change yes so it is now clear now i am to plot the radius of gyration okay I simply drag and drop it if you don't want to keep all this data that means here uh, their uh, radius of a gyration along three axis x axis y axis and z axis and a total radius of gyration now if you want to uh, remove this radius of gyration along the x y and z axis and only want to keep the radius of gyration along total then you can change it or modify it so simply go to the plot then set appearance and you can select this data like this. so i am selecting this red line and right click it and click this option kill data or simply kill yes you can see i have removed the radius of gyration along x axis similarly for y and Red axis. <coughs> yes. Okay. So now you can modify it. You can change this title. Okay. Because since we have removed this ROG along X, Y, and Z axis, so go to the graph appearance and simply go to the title and change the title radius of gyration or radius of gyration total okay now you can save it similarly i am going to show you how to plot age bond data so simply drag and drop it so for each age bond plot there are two trajectory one for hydrogen bond number of hydrogen bond and pair within 0.35 nanometer so i am going to kill this data so go to the plot set appearance kill data so now only the age bond numbers are present but you can see here in case of this x axis in case of this x axis the time is present in picoseconds and you want to change it in nanosecond okay you want to change the time frame then how will you do it so there is an option simply go to the axis property 
okay their label is time picosecond we change it to nanosecond and then go to the tick label okay because this is the tick level which is present in picosecond so go to the tick level and use this option axis transform write here dollar then small t that means time divided by thousand because if you want to convert it from picosecond to nanosecond you have to divide it with thousand and then enter So now you can see the labels are present in nanosecond. Now I am going to show you the RMSF trajectories. So a RMSF plot looks like this. You can modify using different option which I have already shown you and you can save it. So that's how you can generate beautiful plot using QTBS software. Then you can merge, modify this photograph using different photo editing software. Like uh, you can use Paint or Adobe Photoshop. Okay. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you. Thank you for watching.